I'm a baddie, I'm a girly, I'm a boss bitch. Know it's money in my pockets, how I talk shit. With a Bobby doll figure, yeah, I'm slim thick. It's only real bitches with me, ain't no counterfeits. We live? Oh, yeah. What's poppin', y'all? I don't know who's out there. Um, I'm just checking in. I want to make sure everybody's downloading America New. I want to thank everybody for all their support. Um, you know, we're number 61 on the app chart, which is a big deal for us in the app world, on the network world. And the reviews are great. And, uh, you know, obviously, I feel like I need to uh, <laughs> address the T. First of all, they're not yet. Sorry about that. First of all, Shit is not dentures. These are my grills, right? <laughs> and what happened was, um, you know, I have to go get implants put in. So I have implants, and I got them 20 years ago. And every 20 years, you got to switch them out. So I have to do a surgery, pause, oral. And uh, the fucked up shit is, once they do it, And, yeah, so, I'm going to show you a lot. Okay? I got So, that's what happened, the prints. But, you know, I thought it was hilarious. I ain't tried to edit it. I think it's good for jokes and shit. Um, but, yeah, they're not dentists, and I think it's hilarious. But, anyway, what I think y'all need to do is download America New. Let's get back to the point. And the point was... Um, uh, I have a television network, and people are in the television network business, 50 specifically, and I wanted to see what his network was like. I wanted him to launch. I wanted to compare, and I wanted to push each other to be great. I want to see how good his network is. I want y'all to see how good my network is and let the people decide, and that's all, you know? But regardless, I do want to say thank you again, and these shits might pop out again. I mean, I already know they will until I get the operation and, you know, I still got to talk. But what I'm going to do is, uh, I think Brian Barber's going to pop on. Uh, 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 you know what I'm saying? Steve, stop what? Oh, there you go. Hold on. So I love the jokes. It got homeboy to, to, do, to respond. So I want to thank 50 for responding and saying something. But I do want to see the television network. And I did want to compare the movies. And, you know, we got books. So I want to compare the books. You know, just push each other to be great, all verticals. So I saw he was reading the book. He got a brand new book out. Just my man. Oh, Brian Barber. Yo, what's up? What's up, my guy? What's going on? What's up, I want, first of all, let's let everybody know who you are. This is Brian Bobby. He directed Idlewild and a bunch of other uh, movies, a bunch of outcast videos. I respect him as a director. Um, actually, I'm a director, and I think he's a better director than I am. So I actually call him for advice. He, you know, we kick it. He also has his own streaming service, his own network as well. So, you know, what's going on, bro? Bro, I just wanted to hit you up and um, tell you I, I love what you're doing, man. You, you pop, you had, had them pop out, huh? Sometimes you got to pop out on niggas' pause, you feel? <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Like, this shit wild, bro. <laughs> sometimes when you got to get people to respond, you got to pop out. You know what I mean? Ain't never, I love that. I love that, man. Now, but I was telling them, I, I just got to get some, I got to get some work done. And, yeah. you know, it's, it's, it's been 20 years since I had my implants. So I got to get new implants. So I was like, I'm going to put these on until then. And, uh, you know, they, they not, if they was dentures, that shit would be funny, but the jokes is hilarious. But, <laughs> but I do like the attention is garnering is keeping the word going yeah. and, you know, places like the shade room and, you know, TMZ and all that, they won't post up anything like they weren't posting up the, the challenge. So, right. I, you know, something stupid, they're going to post up. So I appreciate them finally posting this challenge up, but I do think it's beneficial and healthy for, 
um, people that are in the network business to bring awareness to the right way to do a network. So, so catch me up, Dame. Like, cause I, you know, I'd be on and off IG. I don't really be on it like that. So catch me up. Like, how 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 how'd you even get to this? To what? Like, what, 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 you what, shit? Yeah. Like, oh, how nah, this, he just, like, he just said some slick shit. Like, you know, he was like saying that. Um, I guess because I remember I gotta find that clip I did for MTV when I was saying a million dollars wasn't no money, and a million dollars in this world is no money. Like, if you live in the projects and you get a million dollars and you continue to live in the projects, then it's a lot of money. But when you get a million dollars, you're going to upgrade your living. You're going to want to live like a millionaire. And, still, and the minute you buy a bag of potato chips, you're not a, ba a millionaire no more. Right. So I knew, like, the first year, you know, I, got, I think I made my first million maybe before 20. And I, I thought I was rich. And I saw how it evaporated. And I saw how at the end of... Uh, a year, I owed taxes, I had bills, and I was fucked up again. So I didn't want that to happen to anybody else. So in the mix of that, he was like, "Yo, we ain't got no money." But you know, somebody as 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 uh with the stature of Fifty Cent, that 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 garnishes so much attention, Fifty or anybody, if if they're gonna bring you into the conversation, you have to uh, appreciate that, and you have to make sure you take advantage of it. So I felt like he called me out in front of everybody in a certain way, not the worst way. So I feel like, you know, if that's the case, I'm a competitive guy. Let's be competitive in the verticals that CEOs should have. Right. So if you, if you have a television network, and this is the power of having a television network that you own. If you could own a television network, you could drop movies whenever you want. You could drop your network whenever you want. But it's not that as simple as people think you know your technology got to be right. right you know what i'm saying like 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 you know the movies have to be good but but not only like you could get a, a a streaming service and license a bunch of people's shit or even put a bunch of you know movies like tubi does on it from other creators but i actually direct a lot of the content original content i'm, I'm, I'm a confused i'm confused because I, I thought that 50s deal was with uh lionsgate well, from what I read, like, I don't be knowing nigga business, but it seems like they did a 